Do you remember the first game you ever created? For me, it was this classic match the pair game. At the time, it felt like magic. Figuring out how everything worked was both exciting and challenging. That's exactly why I decided to share this tutorial with you. Whether you're new to game development or just exploring Unity, this video is perfect for you. Let's dive right in. First, we need a card. Let's start by creating one. In Unity, create a UI canvas. Inside the canvas, add an image object. Set its size to 200 width and 210 height. This will be our card base. To make it interactive, we need it to flip and reveal an icon. For that, add another image as a child of the card. Now we need a place to arrange our cards. A grid. Create an empty game object and add the grid layout group component. Drag your card object into this grid. Adjust the grid cell size to match the card dimensions. Set the child alignment to middle center. To control the number of cards in a row, constrain the grid to a fixed column size and set it to 3 and tweak the spacing for a neat layout. Once done, create a prefab of your card object. This will allow us to easily instantiate cards later. Now, let's bring our card to life. Create a script called card. In this script, add a variable to hold the reference to the card's icon image. Add two sprite variables one for the default hidden icon and another for the revealed icon. Include a boolean variable to check if the card is selected. Next, write a method to update the card's icon. Then, create two methods. Show, this sets the card's icon to the revealed image and marks it as selected. Hide, this resets the icon to the default and marks the card as unselected. Now let's manage the game's logic. Create another script called Card Controller. This script will handle the pairing mechanics. Add a sprites array to store your icons. Create a list to hold paired icons. Write a method to prepare pairs by adding each icon twice to create matching pairs. Then shuffle the list. You can use a shuffling algorithm from ChatGPT for this step. In the Card Controller script, Create two variables, one for the card prefab and another for the grid layout container. Write a method to instantiate cards. Loop through the sprite pairs list. Instantiate a card prefab for each sprite. And assign it the corresponding sprite icon. This will fill your grid with a complete set of cards. To test if everything works, assign the card script to your prefab, link the icon image, and set the default icon. Then, in the controller, assign the prefab and grid layout transform. Add some sprites to the array, and hit play. You should see your grid filled with cards. Next, let's make our cards clickable. Add a button component to the card prefab and set its transition to none to disable hover effects. In the card controller script, create a method that takes a card as a parameter. If the card isn't already selected, call its show method. In the card script, add a reference to the controller and a method to detect clicks. This method will call the controller's method and pass the card as a parameter. Don't forget to assign the controller reference to each card when generating them. To handle matching, create two variables in the controller for the first and second selected cards. Update the card selection logic. If no card is selected, set the first card. If one card is already selected, set the second card and check if they match. Write a coroutine for checking matches. Add a small delay. Compare the card's icons. If they match, leave them as is, and flip them back if they don't match.
time to add some polish. Use a tweening library like Prime Tween to animate the card flip. In the show method, rotate the card to 180 degrees on the Y axis and update the sprite after a delay. Similarly, in the hide method, rotate it back to 0 degrees and reset the icon after a delay. In the controller, track the number of matched pairs with a counter. Once the counter reaches half the total number of cards, trigger a celebration. For example, you could scale up the grid with a fun animation. And that's it! Your match the pair game is ready! You can easily add more levels by increasing the card pairs. If you found this tutorial helpful, Give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Unity tutorials. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. See you in the next video.